What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the new Scorpion robot on the live server here. Um, fully maxed and boosted in Team Deathmatch. Two setups, Storm and Flamethrower. You know Team Deathmatch? The gameplay where people stand, stand far back with trebuchets and hydras and try and shoot you, hoping never to be attacked in short range? Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? There's a scorpion now. And the whole hoping to never be attacked in short range is out of the question now. Because this thing is gonna literally teleport behind you, take you out, and teleport back. This is going to be insane, alright? So... Let's wait for it. This guy has activated his leech ability. There, oh, there is a lot of people spawning in there. Uh, too many people spawning in. But you know what? Let's go for him. Because his leech ability is gone. And that's it. Boom. 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 His leech ability is gone. And we're right behind him. And he's probably asking, how in the world did you get here, dude? How did you get here? And the answer is, I teleported. Team Deathmatch. Ladies and gentlemen, let's enjoy this whole match here with Team Deathmatch and see what we can do to the enemy, alright? So, there is, for example, an Ares. An Ares that is going to feel safe behind the cover uh, because there is a shield that he had just used. And, hi, I'm even aiming at him as I come out of this. I'm even aiming at him. Imagine this. I, and I have to take, actually have to take some damage so that I get back into... Uh, to the increased damage, right? Uh, I have overdrive modules, and once I take and damage, I will be able to teleport uh, and do twice as much damage behind the enemy there. Okay, there comes an Aochon. I wonder if he's gonna actually come over all the way over here. Uh, probably not. Probably not, no. He's going to teleport or jump back there. And is he in range? Unfortunately, he is not in range. I have to actually move up to him because I only have 350 meters range. And boom, boom, boom. Three shots down to last stand. And boom, another shot and that's it. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And now that he's flying, I'm just going to teleport back into safety. It's almost not safe because basically we're rocking here. Very unsafe territory. Um, but, uh, yep, let's get back into safety. Okay. With the overdrive module, we can do tons of damage to him. There is another Outshone currently in the air flying. There is a Phantom coming all the way over here. I can corner shoot him a little. And then, pop! There you go. That is an Outshone, I think, that just landed. Yep, it is. That means he's dead. And, boop, bum, bum, bum. That is just insane. Now, by the way, I can no longer teleport back. That's important for you guys to know. If I teleport back, let me try. Look, I'm trying to tell. Huh? I was able to teleport back? I thought you cannot teleport back when you walk out of the 350 meters range. Apparently, you can. Living legend. Living legend. Yeah, sure. Because I did so much for this. Okay, behind him there. And hold on. Boom. Bam, 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 bam. And there he goes. Living legend. Yeah, totally deserved. Teleporting back after doing this and back in safety. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the scorpion. Tell me what you think in the comment section. In the upper right corner, I already made a video with the scorpion where I shown you beacon rush and free for all. Okay? So, um, yeah, tell me what you think, guys. I really would like to know. Uh, what your thoughts are on this thing. I am starting to lose some health. Um, probably going... Oh, wait a minute. Let's get behind him there, if possible. Okay. Now we have resistance. Right, that's the next thing. The robot even gets to have resistance of 50%. Uh, when he has the, uh, the jump or the, the opportunity to teleport back. So... I don't know how many kills we have already gotten, but we're seriously taking apart this enemy team here with these, um, with this setup. There's an Aochun up there, right? I'm gonna try and get him. Okay, I teleport to him now, and behind him I will be boom, 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 death. And there is another dude, okay? I still have like four more seconds to use the ability there. And then teleport back after doing tremendous damage. Oh, hello. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. 
Is that an enemy? No, it's not. Okay, thankfully it's not an enemy. He's almost down to last end now. Uh-oh, 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 wow. The Titan. The Titan came in, dude. Look how little health I got now. Okay, I'm teleporting back because the Titan would otherwise hit me. I know that much. If I, had, if I hadn't gone back immediately, the Titan would have started to shoot me. He wants me, look. He's coming now. He's coming. He's coming now. And he wants me really much. Boom, 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 boom. I still did a lot of damage to him. And there he goes, and I go too. Wow. But the thing is, guys, I have another one of those. This time, it's one with uh, flamethrowers. No, wait. Oh, that's the wrong spawn. Hold on. Let me just get killed. Let me just get killed real quick. I thought I spawned with the scorpion. I accidentally chose the new Scarab um, version of, of the thing. So we're doing some good damage there. There is this guy with his leech. We have an enemy behind me, actually. That's interesting. So this guy just lost his resistance. Okay, I'm walking away as his last stand is there. And then I'm coming back out, finishing him off. Okay, trying to do as much damage as possible there. And getting myself killed, that is still the goal. I want to actually get killed here, because I want to spawn into the uh, the other um, scorpion. But at, while taking down some of these enemies, maybe we can also, um, while getting killed, maybe take down a titan or two. Right? And that would be really helpful. And... Ah, he didn't quite make it. Okay. But you know what? Not a problem. Look at these... Look at these two guys. All the way back there with their, uh... With their sniper titans. What a playstyle. This is this is what you have done, Pixonic, with these things now. People are doing that. This is really not a good thing. Another titan somewhere? Okay, behind me. It's a friendly titan now. That's actually good. Okay, let's go through this guy's firepower here. And spot, uh, jump on him. Wow, I almost get entirely killed while trying to jump on this guy. Wow. But I'm now up here, killing a Titan from behind. Titan and uh, then landing down here again. In what I hopefully consider is safety. Not that safe, though. I'm healing up. And I'm going for this Titan again. He's got a low health. And I know I can finish him off. All I've got to do is teleport behind him. Here we go. Okay, I'm coming now. Okay, where is he? There we go. Right behind him. And he doesn't know exactly what's going on. He's landing now out of fear. Taking much damage. I am teleporting. Not teleporting here. I'm going to actually survive. He's got no more heavy weapons left. So he can't actually shoot me. And that is his death. Right there. And we're having some very powerful meta players in the enemy team. And I'm not sure if I can survive for any longer. Trying to teleport back, but it's too late. I am dead. Okay, when you have this much meta against you, I had to jump into the middle of the enemy team in order to make this happen, right? That's why I died. You've seen in the beginning of the match, this is what I can do to the enemy. When I do not have a hundred people just firing at me alone. So... I'm gonna take down this thing first. Nope, not yet. And now I'm gonna take down this Arthur. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back in another Team Deathmatch match. Unfortunately, I did have another crash again, but I updated my graphics card driver. And for the last 7 to 8 matches, no crashes anymore. So, knock on wood and fingers crossed that this stays this way and we can finally enjoy the game without any crashes. I do want to give you an awesome quality, and that's what we have running right now. Um, hopefully without any further crashes. So, uh, Scorpion time. I always want to say Spectre, because it's like it begins so similar, but of course, it is a Scorpion. So he's now leeching. That is perfect, because after his leeching, we can just instantly kill him, right? Uh, although, I'm, I wonder if that's even going to be necessary, because look. Oh, it is necessary. So let's jump after him, and there we go. Boop, hi, boom, 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 boom. Down to last stand. 
And he's never going to get another uh, ability back because I know I caught him right before he could pull this off. He's shaking his head. Sorry, man. No more teaming up with anybody. Uh, that you, uh, and no more, no more not shooting because it's weird and it shouldn't happen. And uh, well, by the way, I need to take a little bit of damage anyways, so that I get into the increased amount of damage category here. Now the enemy uh, blitz robot with let no without legendary pilot is currently rocking. Who is the guy? That's him. This is the guy with a legendary pilot. No, without the legendary, but with a blitz ability. So let's come for him. Hi, boom, 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 and he's done. And now we have the Ares here that we can hit really hard and then boop, return to safety as soon as this, uh, the whole thing is over. And now nobody is safe anymore. I can just constantly bring that stuff. I can constantly bring this now. What in the world is going on, Pixonic? I think that's not very, you know, very balanced. I just think that's not exactly very balanced. He, okay, okay, he's currently leeching. But uh, guess what? He's no more leeching now. Boom, 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 and death. And then boom, boom, death. And then healing up and teleporting back. And almost taken the entire Leo with me. Look at this. And I even had the entire enemy team shoot me in this very moment. But they couldn't beat me because I had the 50% damage resistance currently going. Alright, let's come up here and help. Boom, 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 boom. Even without uh, the thing, it's still good. Let's attack Ita. Oh, sorry, the guy who just currently before basically showed his head. Okay. Man, this is just insane. And uh, he's, <laughs> he's shaking his head again. <laughs> sorry, my friend. I know you're, you're not trying to fight me. You're trying to, you know, be ha happy and cool. Uh, but I just want to show this robot. And if I, if I basically stop firing at you and not and I waste potential uh, time to get kills, I hope you understand, my friend. Francis, shout out to you for your persistence, dude. But it's a... Uh, ah! Okay, I was just going to shoot him uh, and teleport to him. Uh, but turns out it's an um, an Guang and he is now flying up. But you know what happens next, right? He's going to land back in the cover. Right there, where he feels so safe. And guess what? Hi, boom, 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 boom. Down to last stand, and he's like, what, what, wait, huh? How did, wait, what? He is like, and then, yup, yup is the answer that comes from me here. Teleporting back, it's still, <laughs> he's still shaking his head. This guy's awesome, dude. Stop it. I can't, I can't, I must, I must do damage, I must kill, otherwise I'm not doing what I'm trying to do here with this video. Um, so, I don't know what this is, but it probably still has some kind of an ability. Okay, we have a, a oh god, I can corner shoot kill him, no problem, okay. Here comes him. Is he gonna, f ooh, wow, he flies very far, I have to say, dude. I have to- Oh, no, I can't get in safety. Ay, 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 okay. I think that's it for me now, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. It's not it for me. I'm still alive, and this guy has dropped his stealth. Wow. <laughs> Team Deathmatch with the Scorpion, guys. It has to be played in a certain way. You cannot just waste yourself, because there is a way to waste yourself. But with the teleport back into safety every time, well, there isn't really that much that can go wrong, to be honest. It's just a matter of, um, look, see, this guy is currently using stealth. It must be an Aochun because it's flying in stealth. All I have to do is wait for him to land and then take him out when he has no more, um, no more stealth. Like this. Bam, bam, bam. Three hit kill. And then from behind, even hitting this guy while his resistance is down with only two st uh, storms, I almost took him down, right? And then I was being killed by this Ravana there. You see the Ravana? He was trying to come around the corner and kill me, but, uh, you know, I, all I have to do is just teleport back. I guess whatever this is, is currently uh, using an ability. No, it is. Ah, I see what it is. Okay. Alright, let's go for it. And boom, 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 boom. Down to last stand in like three hits. And there's another one here. Boom, boom, finish. Boom, boom. Oh, it, oh, I couldn't teleport back fast enough. There was a, a Titan. There was a Titan flying in the air and, I, and he had me targeted. And I, I was trying to teleport back in time, but it wouldn't work. That was one robot. We have just been using one robot. And we've been using it well, so we didn't die. But 
things can go wrong if people capture the point that you teleported from, right? If they get forward and capture the point that you started your teleport from, you end up in real trouble when you try and retreat back into safety, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind, but overall, how much else can go wrong right here? If I end jumping into too many enemies, I just teleport back and there is the end of it. No, only other, f uh, you know, uh, things can make it difficult for you. So let's wait out this guy. And um, I'm actually going to jump on, on the Titan now. Because it's the same effect. I'm basically also landing here. And, and he notices that, wait, no, 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 that's not supposed to happen. And I think he was even reloading there. I think he was even reloading when I caught him. <laughs> okay, he caught me now. Okay, I have to run underneath him, hopefully, to make him lose the lock-on. That's the only chance I have here. If he loses his lock-on. Alright, I'm hitting him, and we're doing massive damage. Yeah, three flamethrowers in your face, dude. Oh, wait a minute, that's an enemy. Hi, wait, let's teleport behind him. And, whoop, and I'm actually locked down. I'm actually locked, but I still got him. Because I was teleporting behind him as I was locked. Hey, man, this is insane. Oh, actually, this fooled me more than him, I think. <laughs> because I didn't know in which direction I would be facing after I come out of this. So this actually fooled me more than him. Okay, we have enemy sniper titans, and I want to stay out of their 600 meters range. So I can then come in and attack them, right? So you see here he's trying. In order to have a chance at attacking these guys, I have to get into the ship. From within the ship, I can jump on them and attack them in short range. And if I do this at the right time, when they just spend all their ammo, I might be able to whoop the flip out of these dudes. So, let's come in and try and get close to this dude. But the thing is, I get the feeling he knows what I'm trying to do. He's getting, he, he's trying to get as much distance as possible to any, to all of us. So that the whole uh, targeting and, and doing much damage to him isn't really happening. I think he's still flying backwards. Yeah, I think he's still flying backwards. It would explain how I get such troubles getting in range. Okay, here we go. Teleporting now. And boop, there I am. And I'm doing double damage too because of the uh, locked, uh, no, the overdrive module. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, I was able to show you the the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the scorpion in Team Deathmatch. What a freaking insane monster! Pixonic, in case you're watching this, is that really what you had in mind? <laughs> Just asking, uh, because it seems like this is something that we could call a little bit buggy. Or just, uh, you know, um, basically destructive. Oh, seems like I promised too much. After eight games, it did crash in the end. Hmm. All right, but it's the last. Uh, I had a great match with you, so I'm, I'm okay with this. At least I was able to have a massively awesome match with you. If you ask, ask for me how much damage you do from the last couple of matches I've played, I have done around four and a half to five million damage, probably four and a half. This is what the damage um, was that I've caused. And ridiculous amounts of kills that you can count yourself if you wanted to. Uh, sorry, crash again, but it was better this time than last time, that's for sure. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.